Hello, children of God. This is Genesis. We are getting to know him. I am feeling very refreshed, even though I just, um, I worked out earlier today. Um, I feel really good. I had a wonderful therapy session. And I am here with the Holy Spirit, and I am just going to pray us in really quick. Heavenly Father, creator of heaven and earth, I just want to adore you for a second. Holy Spirit, I love you. Holy Spirit, I don't understand you, and I don't have to, but I just want you to speak through me. Holy Spirit, I want to be a vessel. I want to be used. I thank you for the gifts of the Spirit and that they are given to me as needed. I thank you that I'm not selfish and I'm not thinking of myself and that I want less of me and more of you. Lord, take up my yoke. I thank you. I praise you in Jesus' name. So we are going to start in Luke chapter 12 and we are going to verse 7. It says, but even the very hairs <clears throat> of your hair, hair, I'm sorry, are all numbered. Let me repeat that. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. Holy Spirit, give me revelation. Give me knowledge. Give me a meaning. Give me understanding. I decree the spirit of wisdom over myself right now in the name of Jesus. Do you not realize how valuable you are to the kingdom of God? I'm going to read that again. It says, but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. If God, who created this entire universe, cares about the number of hairs on your head, what does that tell you? That tell you that God is so invested in you. That tell you that God loves you so much. God sees so much in you. God has a purpose and a plan. God cares. He cares. He cares about the things that you do. Binge watching television, ignoring him, rejecting him, spitting in his face when he watching you go through abusive relationships, being around abusive people, being in toxic work environments. God cares. He cares about those small things. He cares about what hurts you. Jesus cries with us. He intercedes for us. The Holy Spirit intercedes for us. He loves us. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit with secular demonic music. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit by ignoring him just love him admonish and acknowledge the Holy Spirit when you wake up the Holy Spirit has a mind the Holy Spirit is sovereign the Holy Spirit loves you the Holy Spirit wants to guide you the Holy Spirit is perfect he is God do you know how powerful you are you literally <clears throat> you have the spirit of God inside of you. What other God can allow, can give this to us? What other God, what Buddha, Muslims, do they, are they given the gift of the Holy Ghost? The gift that just keeps on giving? The gift that you can literally ask, Holy Spirit, should I go this way? Holy Spirit, what is it about this person? Holy Spirit, what should I do? Holy Spirit, is this a good person for me? Holy Spirit, is this person done witchcraft on me? You know the Holy Spirit will tell you these things? 
<clears throat> but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Lord, I just honor you right now. I just praise your magnificent name and I just thank you for your presence. I thank you that this time that we've spent has meant so much to me, even these five minutes. I thank you that every day I will I will live for you. I thank you for provision. I thank you that this video will get out and it will reach the people that it is intended to reach. I thank you. I praise you. I thank you that people will begin to have a hunger and a desire to learn about the Holy Spirit, that they will begin to want to learn about him, that they will begin to see how powerful he is and how he's been there and he wants to help, he wants to lead, he wants to guide, he wants to structure your life. Holy Spirit wants to be your nutritionist, he wants to be your mentor, he wants to guide you to the right people. All those things that you are having issues with, those intuitions, that's the Holy Spirit. He needs you to submit and to obey and spend time and acknowledge him. And he will guide you. I thank you for this time, Holy Spirit. I thank you for the love. I thank you for the peace and the joy. In Jesus' name. Jesus loves you. I'm going to end this video right now. I want you all to fear the power of God. I want you all to have <clears throat> a healthy reverence and fear of the Lord. I want you guys to begin to ask the Holy Spirit every day. Invite him in. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. That's how you get true discipline. <laughs> That's where discipline comes from. You guys be blessed, be encouraged. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.